future Batman, uh, you would think that it would be a character that was on the wane, um, a character that, uh, you know, whose physical powers are failing him. And what you see as Batman gets older, he just becomes more badass. And, and uh, he's a character that obviously doesn't care about how he looks, but he's also a character that is incredibly confident in his ability to take on anybody. And I think he, he jumps into battles, he's fearless. So Future Batman is basically the result of what happened when Brainiac invaded and we weren't ready for it. We didn't have all these exobite heroes and villains to stand up to Brainiac. It comes from an alternate timeline, a timeline that's no longer going to happen. And it's because of the actions that he and a future Lex Luthor took in the future to create all of the heroes and the villains that are now populating DC Universe Online to avoid the very future that they came from. So in the Battle for Earth DLC, you fight alongside future Batman to try to stop future Lex from taking over the nexus of reality, which allows them the ability to travel through time and space. So at the end, they both jump down the hole into the nexus of reality. And that's kind of like a big cliffhanger we leave at the end of Battle for Earth. We don't come back to it until our seventh DLC, which is Origin Crisis, which we explain then how time travel is mixed in the whole thing. So now future Batman has gone around and found other Batman from other different time streams, and he's combined and created his own little council there. They're in these different temporal states, and what they're doing is they're using the Nexus to kind of time travel back. All this pranking with time and space has actually caused alternate realities to be born. Lex Luthor became young Bruce Wayne's mentor and sculpted him in his own image. And we end up with a very, very evil, very dark and sardonic Bruce Wayne. So one of those moments that Batman sends the players back to is that moment in Crime Alley when young Bruce Wayne had to watch his parents die. And you're allowed to uh, impact that moment in his life. It's allowed us to really experiment and do a lot of cool things with the character and explore even different variations of him than people have ever seen before. I think we'll see future Batman again in our stories. Right now he's battling out in a constant battle in the nexus of reality, but with future Batman being unique to us, I really think we need to leverage that. So I'm sure we'll see him again. I think he has a lot to offer the game and its storyline. He's in a key position to influence a lot of things going forward with DC Universe Online. He's, he's a character that just uh, has gotten better over time, which is interesting because we're celebrating his 75th anniversary. Yeah.